very talented, very sporty, um, and we knew from sort of day one that she was going to go far. Olivia will still take a football on holiday with us. She'll still train. She'll still be responding to clients' requests while she's on holiday. She'll still be talking to girls that she's going to start employing. For me, freestyle was just fun. It was fun for the first year, but then I started to get like a big fan base online because I was always sharing my training videos, just for me really, just to see my progress and things. But my online following started to grow, and then from the clients were contacting me, wanting me to go and perform and do adverts and things. She's proved to everyone and herself that females are up there with the best. Last year I won the Rising Star in Sport in Parliament, which was incredible and I was so happy. I won the award in Nickelodeon live in the Osu Arena for the best baller, which was a category for freestyle football, and actually beat the guys and won that. One of my proudest moments was performing in a speech on TEDx with Dan Wood. When I'm performing I get like an, an adrenaline rush. Sometimes I don't even remember what I've done afterwards. I train every day for two to three hours. Um, six days a week. I get quite angry sometimes when things aren't going my way. I think it was when I was about 12 I thought I really want to be a professional footballer. My brothers would put, put me in the football net and just fire balls at me again and again. So I guess that built up my control because I had to learn to defend myself. She didn't want to do cricket, she didn't want to do gymnastics. All she wanted to do was play football. I went to trials at Blackburn Academy. I got in. I was really happy and I knew that's what I wanted to do. And then a couple of seasons down the line I started to get injured and the injury was just it was coming back and again and again. I remember seeing a video of Ronaldinho go viral online on Facebook I think it was and he did like this wicked flick up thing and I just thought wow I, I want to learn that and that's when I discovered freestyle football. When I started purely for fun I just really enjoyed um, bettering myself and learning new tricks. I never even thought for one minute it'd be my career. It was the speed at which she could pick up the tricks, that how quickly she could learn to do one just by breaking it down on a video. All the freestylers come together. You know freestylers from all over the world and you can name them because you, you talk to them online and you exchange videos and things. I have over 70,000 followers on Instagram and over 10,000 on Facebook now. You get money for shows and adverts and sponsorships and things like that. Liv's always travelling around, she's been to Qatar recently, Dubai, Berlin. Uh, everything I do is self-talk from building my websites to growing my social media and my tricks alone. She's like a businesswoman now, it's like speaking to you know, somebody that's been in the business for years and years and years. She'll get on a laptop in the morning at 7, 8 o'clock in the morning and she'll still be on a laptop at 8, 9, 10 o'clock at night. Today we're going to Exton Girls, which is where I started my footballing career, and we're going to show them some stuff. Olivia's recently set up a business called Girl Power. I think it expresses really what Olivia's been trying to chase for, for quite a while, is that she wants to be treated the same as everybody else. So my company is called Girl Power, and it's the first ever female football freestyle agency, and hopefully it's the future. I feel like I have to prove myself a lot just to show that I am just as good as the guys and that this is an equal sport. I was about 12, 12 or 9 years old, just running down the pitch with the ball, and then I hear one of the parents of the opposition just shout to their child, don't let the girl get past you, it's embarrassing. So then that, that hurt me. Yeah, you get the old dinosaurs, don't you, they say that, you know, what's she doing? Mark that girl, you know, what's she doing with the little pigtails? And then she could run rings around most of them. I do want to use freestyle football and use my skills to help show that girls can be footballers or freestylers or rugby players if they want to. Anything they want to do, they can do it. She's shown that if you go out and believe it, you can achieve it. <laughs> 